Warren Weir's achievements in a short period of time can have him compared to some all-time greats. 19.7 personal best over 200 meters, Olympic bronze medal in his first ever games, silver medal in his first world championships, and a world record run on the 4x200m relay in Bahamas 2014. Having rose to prominence at the age of 22 in London, it was of the belief that he was going to be one of the guys to keep Jamaican sprinting on the level it was. Unfortunately, that never happened. And after the 2014 season where he won a silver medal at the Commonwealth Games, Weir was never the same. The former Calabar High School sprinter who was under the tutelage of Glenn Mills and working alongside Usain Bolt and Johan Blake, two of the fastest men ever, began to once again look like a shell of what he was truly capable of. As in 2014, he won only a single race from nine, failing to go under 20 seconds in a world championship year. This had massive implications as he headed into the 2015 World Championships hosted in Beijing as reigning silver medalist, but to much surprise, he failed to even make it to the final, finishing 7th in his semi-final heat with a time of 20.43. This was a horrendous drop from a man who anchored Jamaica to a gold at the World Relays a couple months earlier. Following the championships, Warren Weir declared he would work on putting on some big performances at the 2016 Olympic Games. He also revealed he came up injured during the championships, which resulted in his failure. However, all his intentions for the 2016 season was thwarted, as he never even made the Olympic team, finishing fourth at the national trials in a time of 20.50 seconds. Following this, he opted to close his season there, which might have been due to reoccurring injury issues. After two consecutive frustrating years in terms of results, Weir headed in the 2017 season with some hope of putting together a good season in order to rekindle some form close to his much younger self. Things ended up being worse than his previous World Championships in 2015, with him failing to progress from the preliminaries with a woeful fifth place in a time of 20.6 seconds. This felt like the last piece of disappointment the still young sprinter could manage, as, following the World Championships, he declared himself retired on Instagram. His retirement would end up being just for eight months, as by April 2018, he was back and ready to compete. While on a local sports show, Weir confessed that it was due to his frustration with how he was treated by the local fans back home that caused him to retire, basically saying he felt underappreciated by the people he worked hard to represent. But being back in 2018, he was now focused on his second Commonwealth Games. Interestingly, at the previous Games, he became the first and only Jamaican sprinter in history to be a part of two trifectas in the same event at two different major competitions. The 2018 Commonwealth Games did start out really well as he won his preliminary heat convincingly, but as the competition went on, it was clear it was about to be another disappointing championship with him finishing fourth in the semis and then strolled to seventh in the final. This was now almost half a decade of disappointments for the now 28-year-old. These did not drive him to retiring again. Instead, he decided to accept an offer to join the national rugby team, and then parting with Glenn Mills to train with Lance Bauman, coach of Noah Lyles, and other top-class sprinters. The switch was not because of disagreements with Coach Mills, but because Weir planned to stay away from the island for a while. The switch did not help Weir though, as in 2019, he never went under 10.4 in the 100 meters and only broke the 21 second barrier once in the entire season. That season felt like the last stroke for Weir, who now at the age of 30 is focusing on his newborn baby, who was born in 2020. So at the age of 30 and focused on family, it seems as if that possibility of rekindling some old form is slimmer than ever. This means that Weir can either continue to try and find that form even though he's older and has much more responsibilities, or he can continue to develop as a rugby player. Either way, Warren Weir has made his mark on Jamaican and global sprinting history by being a part of one of the most iconic races of all time.